So the following demonstrates the experiment performed in the laboratory. And the object of the experiment to be performed is to study the characteristic of a rectifier bridge amplitude comparator with different amplitudes and phase shift between the two signals. Before observing this experiment, it is strongly recommended that you go through the theory that had been taught to you in the class pertaining to the experiment to be done. And moreover, it is uh, recommended that you go through the experimental sheet that had been provided to you and referred to the books as well. So shown here is the circuit diagram of the experiment to be performed. So if you look into this circuit diagram, it comprises of a auto transformer which is uh, connected to the source of 230 volts, 50 hertz. And from this auto transformer, the signal at, at secondary side is fed to one bridge of the amplitude comparator with uh, rheostats connected in series as shown. And the same supply is given to uh, a two-winding transformer, which in fact is a step-down transformer. And this is connected to the second bridge of the amplitude comparator. And we'll try to keep the current at this bridge, at this side fixed, which is I2. And we'll vary the current I1 and observe the change that will uh, be seen in the current IR, which is nothing. R stands for relay. And in fact, what we did, did in this circuit is that we replaced the static relay by an ammeter here. So the original circuit must be comprising of a static relay at this particular location, which is being replaced by the ammeter. And shown here is the experimental setup, the apparatus that will be employed in the experiment. And now we'll try to identify the circuit components from the circuit diagram. So this is the auto transformer. This is a, is a rheostat which can be varied to a maximum of 400 ohms. This is a rheostat uh, which can be varied to a maximum of 75 ohms. This is a, a ammeter having a range of 0 to 1 amp amperes and the ammeter used for measuring the relay current having operating in a range of 0 to 500 milliampere then an ammeter which will be having a range of 0 to 1 ampere measuring current i2 this your stat rates is rated 75 ohms and this is the half one bridge of the amplitude comparator this is the second bridge of the comparator this real state uh, rates is rated one kilo ohms well, this is the two winding transformer, which in fact has a transformation ratio of about half. So shown here is the circuit which is connected using the circuit diagram. And now we'll perform experiment before shifting the phase. So we're trying to first keep I2 fixed or have a steady value. Uh, that will be around 150 milliamperes. Now we'll start varying current I1 and observe current IR. So this is our first set of reading. Now we'll vary, further vary I1. That says to 60 milliampere. This is the second set of reading. Then I1 will be taken as 90, so I comes out equal to be equal to 38 milliamperes. And then further, fourth set of reading. So we'll keep varying the current I1 and observe current IR.
So now we set the ammeter to a higher range. And in this manner we completed the experiment. I are corresponding to different values of I1. And now we'll perform uh, perform a shift in the phase by uh, in the second uh, part of the experiment. So this will be the observations taken after shifting the phases. So here is how we shift the phase. We change the terminals or the inputs to the two-winding transformer. Swap the terminals. So the, in, in a similar manner, we will be taking the readings for this particular part by varying the current I1 and observe current IR and thus we will observe a set of readings similar to the first part of the experiment. So for 30 we get IR equal to 72 milliampere. For 60 we have 56 milliampere. For 90 we have 38 milliampere. And so on. And thus, in this manner, we are going to take the complete set of readings. And now, you all are suggested to make a report uh, having the following questions. So, you have the five questions that you will be completing and making a complete report and submitting it.